what's going on guys welcome back to the channel here's the deal this is my wife's golf cart it was the hundred dollar project golf cart that we made like two years ago uh, on the channel we made a video and then a few months later we put the wheels tires and i called it the new stance and then it was like a few months later i made another video on it but anyways this thing has been on the back burner for about two years Last year, I promised my wife, I said, we'll carry it on vacation. It never happened. Spring break of this year, I told my wife, we'll carry it on vacation. It didn't happen. We're going on vacation in a week. I told her, I said, we're going to carry it on vacation. She told one of the kids, I don't believe it. We'll see if it happens. My plan is to get this right here golf cart running, put it together before vacation so we can carry it on vacation with us. And she hasn't been out here to check the progress of it or anything. The only thing I have done off camera is I've mounted the body in the rear and I mounted the front body portions in the front. Um, other than that, I haven't done anything else to this golf cart. These side pieces, they were also painted when I got everything else painted. This is called Amazon Blue. I think it's from like a Volvo color. She liked that, you know, a whole lot. But those side pieces, they had to go back to the paint and body shop because I, as it was sitting over the past year and a half or, or year, they got messed up and damaged. And I also have a dash that we're going to paint as well. That was not in the plans from the get-go. We were actually going to put just a regular dash on here. But I went ahead and opted for a stereo dash. So that's another thing that... We're going to have for this and we're going to start working on it and I'll pick you back up in just a little bit. Started with, I'm going to install this rear seat and it's made by Pro FX. I got it on Amazon. Talks about the step one here, putting these rear uprights in and these is the orientation that they go just like that. Larger portion down, smaller portion up. That's probably to clear these right here, uh, ribs right here. So make sure if you're doing this, it's going to go in just like that. Now, since this golf cart started out as a $100 project, it didn't have all the bolts and the hardware. So I went to the hardware store in the past and I got some hardware. Now, these are not what's recommended or these are not the OEM hardware. It's what I could find at my local hardware store and... The heads are way too big, but in this next step, I got to mount the seat base frame. It says to reuse the hardware. And I was hoping that um, it was gonna come with new hardware, but it didn't. So I'm taking this stuff back out and I'm gonna have to reuse it. I wish it came with new hardware, but it doesn't. So, all right, we need to get the seat base on here now. gonna mount up like that okay so I guess this is what I was worried about those heads not fitting down in here and they do so I'm okay with that now now the next step of the process is to mount the rear seats however I got some rear seat covers from Nokens and we're gonna put those on first these are slip on covers and my wife wanted to try something different this is a new color that they just came out with and um, she's been talking about doing some seat covers like this, but this is what we went with. We went with a off-white color. It's a diamond stitched pattern here. These will slip on seat covers. They don't need any kind of tools to, um, to mount them or anything with or attach them. They mount with Velcro and uh, buckles as well for you know the bottom and the back. I'm going to remove this back base right here. We're going to put the seat covers on here. And then we'll put this black cover back on here. And what this right here do will um, will hide the back of it. I think that'll make for a better, cleaner look. They have an elastic um, cord around the inside perimeter of the seat back or the seat cover itself. So you can actually slide it on, get the other one on, it'll pretty much stay in place. 
while you buckle it in. Pretty simple. And these are strong, very strong. The first time I did it, I was wondering if, you know, if these are going to be strong enough, but they are very strong. And another thing is you have to be sure to allow enough room on each side and the bottom when you're stretching it on or it just will not go like right here for example i've got too much seat there so i need to come back over here pop it over some helping hands would probably be a lot easier but I think we got it. So no more days of adding staples to seat covers. And I think those days are long gone. The golf cart community and the uh, install is starting to get a lot easier. Doesn't look bad. Up against that color, that's gonna look pretty good. Next, I can take my cover, put it back on. The cover's gonna be a little bit tighter because there's more material there, but it will work. And I think this, the cover's gonna make it look a lot better in the back here. This is the rear seat kit, it's fully installed. This is the Pro FX with the Nokens covers on it. I think that looks pretty good. Seat kit looks pretty good as well. Went together really nicely. I have not uh, decided yet on installing the roof just yet because I have a roof, uh, extended roof getting painted. Um, hopefully it'll make it by the time this golf cart needs it, but there it is. I have the front seats and the front seat covers. We're gonna do those probably later on in the video. I need to start working on the, uh, the battery box area here. I need to install the controller, the uh, battery and all of that goes with it. Um, remember when we first started building this golf cart here, I got that Uno battery, that lithium Uno's 90 amp hour battery and I said I was gonna put it on this golf cart and we still are. And I'm gonna install that battery with a Silverwolf Tecon motor and controller. See there's that motor peeking out down there. So we're gonna install that next and um, get it in place. All right, so this is the motor controller plate here. I went ahead and swapped out these fins. They were on this side, I put them on this side. All right, went ahead and got the wiring harness out of the storage box that I had. It's an old harness, hopefully, hopefully nothing's wrong with it. All right guys, I got the controller plate painted. Oh yeah. That doesn't look bad at all. So this is what it looks like from the driver's side. I think it looks pretty good. I tried to move the controller over as much as I could to the right to give me some room for the solenoid there. So the heat sink was there. So I had to give my bolts, you know, enough room there to mount it without coming all the way over here and, and worry about it tipping forward, but it's in there nice and tight. All right, so this is a pedal group from Nokens. The pedal group that came with the original golf cart was pretty rusty underneath the bottom of it. And well, I just got this right here from Nokens. Uh, came right there from Amazon. I'll place links to it in the description below. Um, I'm having to order an M-Core conversion kit uh, for the golf cart. And it's gonna take like two days to get it in, which is nice because I'm already waiting to the last minute to put this golf cart together. Uh, I think what I'm gonna focus on next is maybe uh, these wires here, get the wires in place. So my plan all along was to run the Uno battery in here. This is a 90 amp hour, 48 volt lithium ion battery, not a lithium iron phosphate. Anyways, I'm thinking about mounting the charger vertical right here beside it. I added a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate chins battery for the accessories was able to mount the um, controller adapter to the harness up here at the top right on that little 
a notch there. So I stopped by a local cart shop today I deal with. He let me uh, make some cables real quick, um, borrow their tools. So we got three four gauge cables here that we're gonna run from the UV and W phase from the controller to the motor. I'm gonna go ahead and get that done as well. I got um, some clips to go in this area here for the new switch cover and switch. All right, so I have both batteries charged up last night. I'm not gonna power on the Uno just yet because I'm waiting for the M core to come in. Once we get the M core in, then we can test the system out. Once the system has been tested out, then I can go and um, clean up these wires here, you know, make them look nice and neat and pretty and all of that. But while we're waiting, I need to wrap the front seats here, front seat uh, back and bottom. All right, guys, got my cover. It's pretty nifty here. I try to do this on all of my president builds and I'll put a link in the description below, but it just hides the back back here. So if you put it on your golf cart without the cover, this is what it's gonna look like. But for the fraction of a, the cost of what this right here costs, it doesn't even bolt on, it just goes between it and it stays in place right there. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and get this right here in place and uh, get the seat back bolted on. Now you can see this right here looks way better than before. That plastic cover really ties it up and makes it look uniform back there. I think she's gonna be happy with the colors. She picked that uh, Amazon Volvo blue out. She said she liked that a lot, so. I think it looks pretty good on there. I have an M core ordered off of Amazon. I'm gonna place it into the card here. I've been waiting on it. I think it come with the conversion kit as well. So hopefully we can see if this thing moves or not tonight. And yes, this is made for a DS. And the reason I bought it, because generally these M cores are the same. I just wanted this piece here, which is the conversion. And I also wanted the little M core itself. Now, this is one from Amazon, and I know that ones from Amazon are a hit or miss. And hopefully this will be sort of a hit. Now, the reason I ordered the DS kit here is because I was able to get this for $41. I'll place the link in the description below. But since the M core is the same and the conversion pieces are the same, this kit here was not only 41 bucks, but it was same day shipping or same day arriving. And everything else was wait two or three days and $10 more. So hoping we're good here, which I think we are, but just want to explain that to you. All right, here's the tricky part here. That plugs in and this plugs in. That's good to go. Next, we're gonna the M core on the model of the pedal assembly. If this thing would just move tonight, I'd be so happy and I'd get probably a full rest tonight. So off camera, I was able to install it. I just had to put a little extra oomph into it. I'm not worried about prettying it up right yet. Um, this is my key switch right here. I think red is in the middle. Let's see what we got. Hopefully we got some good news. There's that, plugged up. I don't know which one's on or off. That scared me. Death. Did y'all see me jump? So no way this clipped. I got a red light down here. <clears throat> Although I'll tell you what I haven't done is I haven't bypassed the OBC just yet. All right guys, so I got these two wires connected. This long blue one I had left out of the harness and this white one I had it tied up. I'm thinking uh, in order to get the cart to spin the first time we ever did it, I connected these two together. So I'm just putting them together for the first time. We'll see what happens. So.
connect my switch. All right. Oh, shoot, son. <laughs> Rubbing, let's see. Alright. All right. I'm half here down a pasta, meat, and sweet potato right now. So now I can go ahead and clean up this mess as best as I can. We're still waiting for more porch to come in. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all of this. I'm gonna turn it off and yeah so I'm happy with that I'm gonna put a butt connector on that and then what I'm probably gonna do is like I said I'm gonna just clean it up all right well the golf cart runs I'm happy about that I'm happy about to go in and get some sleep because I didn't sleep none last night got the FNR switch on got the new cover on that's a 10 lol part I'll, I'll place that in the description below it's kind of cheap and it looks good too you know it's not just uh it's not just, uh, you know, I don't know what you want to say, but and it wasn't all scratched up like the one that came on this cart. I could probably tighten it down a little bit more. I just used some black electrical tape, taped the harness up. I'm not happy about that. I wish I had some split loom that big. I might order some split loom just to put on that, but hey, it, it hides it. Uh, I'm probably gonna do something with this right here somehow or another and try to do something else with that. but. Everything is self-contained in the driver's side right here. I have a lot of room over here. I'm gonna get a storage container and put over there for like towels, maybe first aid kit, whatever, whatnots, anything she wants to carry. Since there's not gonna be any more storage spot on the golf cart, so. And I don't know what the next step is, but. All right guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, we were able to get the back seat on, get the seats on, get the seat covers on. Uh, we put the throttle pedal assembly in the floor. I mounted the Superwolf T-Con controller along with the Uno battery. We're going to run that combo in this cart. But we were able to get this right here running in this episode. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today while I was working on this. All the products that I used will be in the description below where you can check it out if you'd like to. And... Um, yeah, other than that, appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy schedules to just follow my content. It means the world to me, guys. It really does. But um, I'm going to go hang it off here. I'm starting to ramble, and we'll see y'all later.